this is actually a very beautiful moment. Today, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the 1980s mode of Yandere Simulator. I know I have like three rivals left. You feel me? I have a strong feeling that we're gonna get past one of them pretty quickly. <laughs> but honestly, this has just been so much fun, bro. This is like one of my favorite series that I've done on my channel up to this point. And I remember like I would see it here or there. I'd never watch anybody's videos in depth to like know what I was doing ahead of time. But I just always knew that I wanted to make some content on this because it just looked cool. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what other things y'all want to see in Yandere Simulator, whether it be mods, you know, the um the the mode with Iono, or just you know whatever it is. Just let me know. I know there's challenges and all kind of stuff we could do. Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Okay, okay. Senpai and Ryoba eventually have a child, right? That's Ayano. So I'm like wondering how is that gonna happen? You know, cause we're definitely gonna get all these garden tools out the way, right? <laughs> like who do they think they are to really be stealing her man? So first things first, we need to see the introduction to this rival and it should be you. Yamato Nadeshiko. Okay. It's a phrase that refers to the traditional Japanese concept of the ideal woman. Ah, okay, okay. I can imagine what that looks like. A woman who is pure and feminine, yeah. gentle, graceful, humble, patient, faithful. These is low-key some W qualities. Meek, quiet, timid. I mean, I guess. Keep the house clean, bear lots of children, respect your husband no matter what. Oh, shoot. They, they talking traditional, traditional. Oh, I see. They, they talking like the beginning know your place know your place is crazy <laughs> hey hey imagine that that's like low-key a very disrespectful thing to tell somebody bro like imagine like it's some dude right he's beefing with his girl right and she says something like if you like it then hurry up and put a ring on it go buy me a birkin i want to go to bora bora and he's like know your place woman <gasps> like what oh no that's crazy yamato nadishiko Yep. It's often said that this type of woman is going extinct, that it's rare to find a woman who embodies those traits in this day and age. But there's one girl at Akademi who fits that description she looks perfectly. Nice. She looks like a very nice person. The most popular girl in school. Every boy wants her. Every girl wants to be her. Okay, Ryoba, it's not her fault you don't have no clouds. You over there. <laughs> yeah. Even my senpai has fallen under her spell. Mm. Well, it's time to break the spell that this witch has cast over the school. Witch is crazy. I'd like to stain her perfect reputation and turn her adoring fans <sighs> into her enemies. Mm -hmm. So we're just going around gossiping about her. Mm, I'm good, bro. And you know, I kind of kind of got tired of hearing about gossip back when I was in high school. So we're going to do something a little more exciting. So I'm going to do her a favor. I'm going to put her out her misery. What would you like the last meal of your life to be? Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f Oh. Wow. Oh, this is going to be so bad, bro. Oh my God. Oh, let me look at this. I was thinking about you this morning and I wanted to do something nice. I prepared a meal for you. Would you be willing to accept it? Whoa, really? You made a meal just for me? Why are you still surprised? All these girls do the same tactics with you, bro. <laughs> I haven't seen any originality in none of these rivals up to this point. All right, pull those out. Give weapon. Okay, how much self-defense does she know? Very weak. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Do it. Kill. Oh my God. Oh my god! What? Kill. What? Oh, there's no way! There's no way! She's just walking forward, muttering the word kill. Oh, this. Oh, 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 oh. Man, move out the way! That freaking uh, mullet! It's you. Look at her looking. Look at Senpai. He looks so suspicious. Everybody looks so suspicious. Oh my god, when she goes to. Oh. 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 Yo! Yo! What? Dog! Dang! Everybody is shook! Oh, look it! Oh, she's about to do it. She's about to commit. She's about to commit. Oh! Oh! 
my god. No, that is the darkest thing yet. Why is it so much? What? Ah! That thing was raining like pee. Ah! Oh, she just got ragged on. Um, is class over yet? We gotta find a place to hide. <laughs> He's leaving school. Uh, I can't even blame y'all. I can't even follow. Wow, I'm literally stuck here. Why is the detective not... Yo, you don't find anything wrong with this? I just noticed I low-key skipped over her task. Okay, so look. I'm terribly sorry if it disappoints you to hear this, but to be honest, there is nothing that I would like to ask you to help with. There are no favors you can do for me. However, with that said, if your goal is to somehow prove yourself to me, I can tell you what would earn. Uh, I can tell you what would earn you my respect. I would like to see you go forth and make as many people happy as humanly possible. In other words, talk to the other students, find out what's troubling them, and solve their respective problems. If you could do this for 20 students, then I would truly respect you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You have a great heart, but that would have took too long. The police arrive at school. It, uh, they discover the corpse of Aiduruyashi. Yep. The police discover scissors that were stained with the blood of Aiduruyashi Aidur and Kamako Funakoshi. Yeah. <laughs> the police find the fingerprints of her on there. Aiduruyashi is dead and the police cannot perform an arrest. They conclude that murder slash self-deletion took place, but are unable to take any further action. The police investigation ends as students are free to leave. Sippai is deeply saddened by the death of his friend. Ryoba stalks Sippai as he returns home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough for her. Is it, um, No words can yeah. express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. I'm surprised they gave the other girl a funeral. Jeez, I don't even think I can do the newspaper club stuff to up the mood. Oh, the mood here is awful. And at this point, I just spent the rest of the week reading manga to get my seduction stat up. Wait, you can now create a smoke bomb by combining potassium and nitrate with sugar? Oh, dang, that's cool, bro. We finna be like Batman in here for real. Yes, sir, new Sometimes, rival, new rival. When I'm following my senpai home from school, I notice that he likes to buy certain magazines from convenience stores. Oh, Lord. Magazines featuring Reviewer idols. <laughs> that man was over there. Attractive young women who strike provocative poses in revealing outfits. He's a big fan of one girl in particular. Golly, this man was investing in that. That's Since crazy. her debut, he's bought every magazine with even a single photo of her. Dang, bro. Senpai, do you even have a job? Like, ain't food more important? <laughs> nah, Senpai said Booty was uh, more important than food And she just transferred into Akademi Oh, that's what's Most up Most of the Whoa. school's male population that's Are already good. completely infatuated with her Yeah, that's not good Look at Senpai, that man is blushing, bro He got them tomato cheeks right now They follow her around school Like a pack of pathetic, lovesick puppy dogs <laughs> yeah. And my Senpai is among them <laughs> Sipping is crazy. As much as I'd love to carve a hole in her heart. Oh my gosh. See, it, all this ain't even necessary. You know what I found that's interesting about Ryoba? Like, she's chosen a man and she's like, no matter what, no matter who's in the way, I'm going to have him, right? Most girls aren't really a fan of being a man's, like, second choice. You feel me? Or people in general, like, I, most dudes wouldn't be a fan of being like a woman's second choice or, or whatever the situation may be. And Senpai has definitely chosen nine different people instead of you so far. Like this, this is looking kind of pathetic, I ain't gonna lie. It might be difficult with so many witnesses surrounding her at all times. Oh yeah, she got a whole committee, bro, a Perhaps posse. Perhaps the best way to deal with her is to set her up with another boy. Mm. After all... It's not like it's going to be difficult to find a volunteer. Yeah, the matchmaking elimination. I actually wanted to see what that was like. I, I guess we'll mess around with this manga. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Current enlightenment? Well, I just don't... A young woman finds a magical notebook that gives her power of life and death and other humans. Well, yeah, this is a death note reference. You lose less sanity when you're committing murder. Bro, who cares about that? I'm trying to see what this gives me. 
Yeah. Yeah, bro. Hey, girl, you finna read this all day. Like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So where's all the jealous boys staring at them having a conversation at? Oh, he's nervous. He said, oh, uh, uh, hi. Hey, how would you feel if I told you I made a bitzel for you this morning? <laughs> really? D did you a bitzel all for me? I'm so honored. <laughs> yes, here it is. Please take it. Oh, cherish this forever. I mean, I'll put it on my desk and eat it at lunchtime. At 515, would you meet me here so you can tell me about how it tasted? Oh, yes. Yes, I'd love to. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Enjoy your meal, senpai. Golly, bro. He is... What? There's no way. Oh, wow. This is actually a massive group that follows her everywhere. <laughs> I think they have another member. Why are all the... <laughs> no, this is so funny, bro. Hey, senpai, you're going to have to protect your girl, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Look at all these eyes. Well, I, I mean, you, you were, senpai, you will not find love outside of me. Bro, people can't even get by. It's a whole traffic jam. Like, it's no way. Wow, dude. Yeah, it would be impossible to kill her, bro. The only place you wouldn't be followed is like the girl's shower room. And they would be waiting right outside, best believe. Hey, bro, there's no way. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, she goes to class down here. Are you oh, that's different. Okay? That's actually kind of cool. So we could open up her bag and stuff. There's not even a teacher here. Go ahead and get out. All right, let me see what's this. Books, read a magazine. You find a magazine of your rival's book bag. It's a fashion magazine with lots of boys in it. Your rival has drawn hearts next to certain boys. You could use this information to determine the trait she's attracted to. Look inside of, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, be brave without courage. You will never get anywhere. So she likes, hold on, let me take a picture of them. All right, so here's the funny part. <laughs> Even though I read that, I did not realize that she drew hearts next to the one she actually liked. So I was trying to make a combination of all these people, pretty much. I low-key do want to see what's in her diary. What's her most embarrassing secret? A producer wanted me to sleep with him in order to advance my career. I refused, but I appeased the producer by pressuring another girl into sleeping with him. Oh, you're so trash! Oh, wow. That happens if I just steal her benzo. Yeah, yeah, give me that. Uh-huh. Are oh, these people chasing after you? You don't deserve to eat. Take their food. And another thing, ain't none of y'all gonna hit. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? If you don't get your... Mm, freaking loser. Okay, so blue-haired guy with glasses. He doesn't really strike me as the type of guy she like, though. But she can tell I'm up to something. Look how she's looking at me. She might just rock with you, family. Can I... Can, I can't even talk to him. Bro, how do I go about setting this up? Uh, dude, I... Nah, because I literally called it. They're all outside fiending, waiting on her to come out this, this area. Oh, yeah. She has a custom bikini. Yeah, they finna eat that up. <laughs> You can tell all they knows is this bleeding, bro. Y'all know how the animes be. God, is this every boy in school? Like, can y'all go to class? Good lord. Oh, it's a photo shoot. Go ahead, get out of frame, y'all. I was like, what are these provocative poses that you speak of? But she just looked like she got a boo boo, bro. Can I get in frame? Can I talk to you? Oh, I can talk to her. Oh, bet, bet, bet. You've got a killer figure, girl. You should join me for a photo shoot. All you need is a bikini. Oh, don't have one? Hmm, I wonder if there's a sewing room that has the appropriate stuff. But you should, like, totally join me. I'll be right back here, girl. Period. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just, I guess I'll pick up cloth and measuring tape and, and thread and... I don't know. I'll just see what I can cook up, maybe. Oh, make a bikini. There we go. Hey! Okay, Ryoba, show what you talking about. Show what it do. Oh, she... How to make a bikini? She just... <laughs> where did that book spawn from? Uh, open... Bikini, there we go. All right, how you looking, Ryoba? How you looking? How you looking? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. All right! They still finna only be looking at her. It's gonna be so funny. Whoa, you look stunning in that bikini. 
Has anyone ever told you that you should be a model? I'm not just saying that to be nice. I actually mean it. You got what it takes to go pro, girl. I want you to join me for a photo shoot. I'm serious. I mean it. Gravure photo shoots with multiple girls always sell like hotcakes. Trust me. This could launch an entire career for you, girl. If you're not free right now, that's fine. But for future reference, anytime you ever see me at the school pool, you are more than welcome to join me. Come on, girl. It'll be super fun. I promise. We can accept it. Yeah, let's accept. Yes, I can't wait. We're going to take the Gravure world by storm, girl. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, hit the pump. Ah. Work those angles, girl. Yes, do the downward dog bikini style pose. Show them what your mama gave you. Sell those magazines, girl. Let's go. Let's do the, the front facing pose. Yes, yes. Hand on the back of the head, okay? That's what I'm talking about. See, I knew you could do it. After a stellar photo shoot like that, I'm 100% certain that you're going to get uh, scouted and become Japan's next top model. Let's do this again sometime, girlfriend. Hey! I, I guess we can, um, you know, socialize real quick. I already know what she likes and dislikes, so, you know, let's just become better friends. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have so much in common. Hey! First, <laughs> I would need to find out what kind of boys the girl is interested in. I could probably learn this information by looking through the book bag in her class. Then, I would need to look for a boy who is interested in the girl enough to change himself for her. If a boy is following her around everywhere she goes, he probably has a big crush on her. After that, I would need to befriend the girl, befriend the boy, and give the boy tips on how to impress the girl. Then, I would need to tell them to talk to one another in a romantic spot. If I do this enough times, then eventually the girl should fall in love with the boy. I'm sure there are ways to improve the romantic advice I give to the boy. If I go shopping in town and check all of the stores, I'm sure there is something I could buy that would improve the effectiveness of my romantic advice. We already read the manga. So, uh, pretty much I wasted a lot of time thinking that I could just pick any random dude that was following her. It was actually a specific one that I had to, but I did not know. So, uh, yeah. But nothing was working and I started getting kind of frustrated. <laughs> but this is so weird. I can't even... I can't even talk to any of them, bro. They're, they're so... You know what? Y'all are so busy staring that y'all ain't never gonna get to talk to her ever. Bro, she don't want to be worshipped. She wants somebody that can... She can freaking talk to like a human being. Y'all are moving like NPCs. <laughs> hey, senpai. Oh, um, hi. Hey, I uh, uh, brought you that book that you wanted. <laughs> you remember it. That makes me happy. Here, take it. Hope you enjoy it. Please, my lady. <laughs> I sure will. I only want to read one chapter so I can decide if I want to buy it. I'll read it at lunchtime. When should I return it to you? Um, uh, how about 5.15? Um, we can m meet right here. Okay, then. It's a date. Date? I'm about to... I do remember there being somebody who, like, stood around these parts. He would, like... I seen him earlier in the series. He would stand on this tree right here, and he had a crush on some type of girl, bro. Like, I don't know who. I don't know if it's, like, the rival dude or what, but I'm going to just camp out and see who stands here. Wait, was it this tree? Oh, it was this tree. Oh. Um. Yeah, he has hearts all over his head. Don't make fun of me for saying this, but I, I have a crush on a girl, and I want to give her a romantic gift. I heard that she loves roses, so I decided to find a rose and give it to her. I think I remember hearing something about a rose bush somewhere in the school grounds. I've looked almost everywhere, but I can... You want me to go get that rose? I think I did this before. Oh, here's the roses. Oh, here you go. Yo, take the rose, bro. Nice, nice. So can I... Look, oh, the love tab is there now. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, let's ask about her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I match y'all together? Do you have a crush on this student? Oh, you can tell? Yes, I have a crush on her. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Let me advise you, OG! Wait, wait. Appearance, let's start with that. Uh, I have the guide right here on my phone. So I'm gonna tell you what to do, gang, right? So first things first, you need to go up there with confidence, right? Know that you are the man, right? You are a product worth having. All you have to do is show that to her, man. So look, look, look. You're going to throw on a bandana. You're going to throw on some shades. You're going to throw on some jewelry. And you're going to bring your swag with you, bro. And you you in there. This is what she's attracted to. So that's what she's into. I see. Oh, yes, sir. If your suitor's courage level is zero, this will not impress your rival. Oh, no. 
Lead him to the haunted painting on the third floor in the art room. Oh, bet. All right, all right, look, 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 look. Follow me, follow me. Yes, yes, yes. Third floor art room, third floor art room. Should be right around here. Art room here? Hey, come on. Come on, get that stamina up. She likes gym heads, bro, come on. The horror painting. Oh, this? Is it this? Boost suitor courage? Yeah, boost it. Oh, his knees. <laughs> he got the shaggy knees. <laughs> oh, no. The boy stands in front of the painting that his room is to be haunted until he is no longer afraid of it. As a result, his courage stat increased. Nice. All right, now follow me over to the library. That's how I boost your intelligence. Library right here. Come on, son. Where are you at? Come on. I told you, you got to get in shape. Now learn. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. The boy studies various different school subjects. As a result, the intelligence that increases. What did I just say? Increases, I meant. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's go ahead and get your strength up, young man. When you, when you flex those nice, big, brolic muscles, she won't be able to resist. Hey, exercise. Runs on the school running track. Hey, get that exercise in. Hey. I need to go ahead and tell you what to show off, right? I need you to show off your... This is enough to impress your rival. Okay, so he's good in all categories, right? I need you to show off your courage. Say she's... Yeah, yeah. Say she's a, she's a model, right? I like your pen. Oh, no, no. No, say you look sexy today, bro. And, and say it with a nice... Uh, nice, deep, attractive, masculine voice. After this, talk about how... Talk negatively about the occult. Because that's weird right and where's that option at and you're gonna talk positively about sports huh girls do like necklaces and bracelets as gifts a ring you're not married yet relax let's, let's do this these are things you say to her thank you so much i'll remember all this nice bro oh bonus when convincing two students to fall in love hey let's put on those wednesday week 9 7 a.m before class oh um hi hi, hi hello Oh, you're so cute when you're flustered. Yo. <laughs> hey, I want to show you something in private. Oh, 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 something in pr private? Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> hey, can you meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime? Oh, yes. It would be my honor. Be looking forward to lunchtime. I'm Senpai. <laughs> All right, where's our boy at? Come on, you got a heart to win, bro. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I literally gave you the cheek. Oh my god. Yo. Yo. I go lie. That headband looks crazy. <laughs> oh my god. But look though. She likes headbands. Matter of fact. Hey, you feel me? The headband wearers are on top. You look kind of fresh, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, hey, you look like a pimped out freaking human ninja turtle, but yeah, <laughs> I promise you it's gonna work. Look at him staring, bro. She walked down my aisle, so I turned around. Then I saw that booty from a distance. <laughs> I'm not cranking that ugly god. Booty from a distance. Booty from a distance. Booty from a distance. Skirt, skirt. Someone wants to meet you at the East Fountain. Okay, I'll go there right now. <gasps> oh! Get out my way, senpai! God ah, dang it! You? I need to make this man hurry up so she don't feel like she got stood up. Oh no, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, you're here! You're here! You're here! Oh yes, yes, yes. Go. Um, court. Yes, she's at the East Fountain. Go there. Use the advice I gave you. Oh really? I'll hit right there right now. Oh yes, sprint, sprint, my brother. Find your love! Hey, bro, I wish I could play that Drake song, but I don't feel like getting copyrighted. I'll just sing it. <clears throat> I'm more than just an option. Hey, hey, hey. Refuse to be forgotten. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I took a chance with my heart. Hey, hey, hey. And I feel it taking over. I better find your love and I better find your heart. 
Bro, wait a minute. I didn't even, I told you not to talk about cooking. Moron, I had to give him advice even every, run that back, run that back. So if you're confused, uh, you basically have to advise him every day. He won't remember. But look, check me out. You need some slick hair, the bandana and the shades and the, um, the jewelry and all that. It can work, right? We're gonna confirm, you know, lock that in. Hey, I'm still training you, my boy. Don't walk off from me, right? Let me give you some some of that good old advice, right? <clears throat> you need to talk positively about sports. Say you do not mess with that occult stuff like I told you yesterday, but you managed to forget. And tell or sports? Nah, because she's very fit, bro. Try the, the sports and do the bracelet. And I promise you, you should be in there, bro. Do these things and you will succeed, brother. Get out the way, simps. Bro, get your old raggedy self out the way. I'm tired of all y'all, bro. Y'all look like y'all bought a wig from the thrift shop. Y'all pissing me off with these freaking, these, these freaking uh, little, little, little teeth that y'all drew on y'all mask, bro. If your teeth is messed up in your mouth, how about you go to the dentist with these long prairie girl skirts that y'all got on in these nasty shoes? Golly, I had enough of this, bro. Like y'all always pushing me every time I get on this dang app. Golly, I hope you never find a man. Go meet your man at the East Fountain. Check me out, gang. She's waiting on you at the East Founder. Do what you gotta do. I took a chance with my heart. What the hey, hell? Hey, hey, hey. And I feel it taking over. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. <laughs> All right, look, your rival might like their suitor better with a different hairstyle. Okay. Suitor lacks the accessories that your rival finds appealing. All right, we're gonna fix that. She likes the glasses. She has no preference for hair color. She likes the jewelry. The panties you put on this morning gave you great advice. Romance manga gave, or manga, I meant, oh my God, I said manga, yuck. Romance manga made, uh, gave you great advice. Knowledge of psychology improved your advice, all right? Rival enjoyed what the suitor said about sports. She enjoyed the uh, comment about the occult. The rival does not like hearing you look nice today. What? Why? I guess it's cliche. Your rival liked the bracelet. She was impressed by the strength. Okay. Your rival's affection for the suitor increased by 56 points. You need 34 more for her to fall in love with the suitor. That's what's up. That's what's up. You in there? You in there? Look, look, look. She's already looking at you, my boy. All you gotta do is not mess it up. We gotta get this physical down packed. We're gonna tell you to do uh, piercings next time. And you should be cool, bro. Yes, sir. It's the first of the month. We about to find love. All right, all right, all right. So she's right here talking to Senpai again. Little did he know she's looking at another dude now. <laughs> Uh, what? Wait, really? I missed what she said. <laughs> yes, there's a field we can catch if we leave here at 5.15 p.m. Oh, yes! I'd love to go watch the new Barbie movie with you! <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, senpai. Ah, I'm so sleepy. I hope I don't doze off in class today. Maybe you should take a nap after cleaning time is over. <laughs> hey, good idea, senpai. I think I'll do that. Gotta watch what I eat today. Oh, not just trying to keep my figure. Sometimes I overeat sleep depending on what I eat. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're gonna catch our boy. Oh, dude. I almost didn't even recognize him. He's a whole. Oh, that is player. That is player, bro. Rex. I don't know about the little lip joints. You feel me? I, I was just never really a fan of lip piercings like that. But, you know, do do what you got to do, bro. You know, it, it's your body, bro. Your girl. You feel me? Yo, you got... Yo, I'm proud of you, bro. You got that slick back like a, a super long version of what Yusuke you're a mess you had, bro. Yes, sir. I just wanted to let you know that you are looking clean, my boy. So let me advise you again since you, you, you forget everything, right? Oh, they discussed this subject already. Oh, that's why it's important to know more. Mm, it's a good thing I took a picture. Talk about how you really like art. You know, you're an artistic fellow. And you're not that big of a fan of uh, gossip. Yes, you, you don't like gossip. 
this gossip is what lame people do. You, you already told her that. Oh, you should have said you looked sexy today. Ah, okay. Nice wasn't assertive enough. It wasn't swaggy enough, bro. You already showed off your strength. Check me out. Show off that intelligence. You gave her a bracelet. Give her a um a necklace today. Hey, you you waving at me? You think we friends? Nah, wait till you find out the man I done crafted for you. I put him together from scratch. All right, go ahead and meet your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this kind of... Yo, I feel happy doing this. I feel happy doing this. Where did you go, son? Where'd you go? Hey. He, he looks so swaggy. Hey, hey. You in there like swimwear, my boy. You looking swaggy right now. Go get her. Go get her. I got another uh, track for y'all. <clears throat> I want to be with you, babe. I want to be with... I want to be... Love me, just love me. If I sum sum dum dum girl, would you still love me? If I dum dum boom dum girl, would you still love me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your rival might like their suit of bearer with a different hairstyle. Oh, that sucks. She likes the piercings, likes the glasses, no physical trait. Doesn't seem to have a preference on the hair color. All right. She likes the jewelry. Okay. Enjoyed what he liked about art. Enjoyed the gossip. Enjoyed hearing you look sexy today. Your rival appreciated the necklace. Didn't really... Okay, okay. Didn't really care when he tried to show off his intelligence. The affection for your uh, suitor increased by 60 points. Your rival is now in love with the suitor. She will confess to him at 5 p.m. on Friday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just happening. It's happening. <laughs> hey, hey, you kept a player out there, bro. That's what I'm talking about. She wasn't even the biggest fan of the hairstyle, but personally, I feel like the hairstyle looked cool, bro. And you know what? Let me go ahead and advise you to try something else just so you can look like the man of her dreams by the time she actually talks to you. I want you to try out the ponytail, gang. See see how she feels about the ponytail, bro. Side note, just for the, the other people out there watching that need some type of advice, I wouldn't advise, you know, changing who you are just for somebody that you're attracted to, bro. You know what I mean? If they don't like you for you already, just it, it's really not worth it. But with that being said, there's nothing better then uh there's nothing wrong with you know becoming your best version though that's i i stand for that bro so become the best you if there's a certain way you envision yourself in your head become that bro you know what i mean but don't just conform to what someone else likes just because she's cute or she has a body or or uh he's fine or he has a body like you, you feel me like just be yourself oh it's friday it's friday Ah oh, man, Senpai is finna get blindsided by this one. That man done swooped in and snagged his girl up, bro. That's, 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 that's tough. Okay. Senpai. Hey, Senpai. Oh, no. What's got you looking so down? Is it because I'm talking to another dude? <laughs> oh, I'm worried about the test we're going to have before lunch today. I took lots of notes in the class in preparation for this test, but somehow I lost all of the notes I took. I must have lost them when I was gazing into your beauty under the sunlight. <sighs> Might actually be able to help you with that. You may not believe me, but I actually did come to this school to study. Nah, you came here to get some attention, bro. Where's my boy at? What you looking like? He should have a ponytail now. The rest should be about the same. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. Is this better than the last one? I don't know, bro. It's cool, though. It's cool. Oh, brother, it's almost time. Holy skadoodle. Holy mackerel. Let me go ahead and find my rival, bro. We got to get in position. I don't see her. Where is she? Where is she? That's the um, principal. Would she be next to the track? Oh, wait. Yeah. No, she's over here with a photo shoot. Yeah, okay, okay. Question, where is our boy at? He's not even over here. Oh, Lord, I don't know where he's at. Is he in position? He better be in position, bro. I already have a track ready for him and everything. Okay, there they are. There he is. Are you going to talk to each other? She just walked past you. Wait, did I make some type of miscalculation? What? No, 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 no. This isn't how it's supposed to go. This... This is... What? <gasps> what is happening? What is she saying? She's writing a note. She's blushing. She just put it in his locker and ran away. Oh my God, it's happening. Hey girl, 
How you doing? What? My name is N. Last name PC. And I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. And here's my number, and you can call me. But don't forget it, baby. My name is NPC. <laughs> Yo, your rival meets the suitor under the Sakura tree, or Sakura tree, whichever one. She confesses that she has developed deep feelings for him. Wow. He tells her that he feels the same way. This is beautiful. The two of them share a tender kiss as the Sakura blossoms fall around them. Yes! Love! Love! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All y'all sips back off. That's his goal. There ain't gonna be no sneaky links, no DMing, no inappropriate conversations. Yeah, look sad. Look sad. Cause that's his. That's all his. Alright? And if I catch one of you, you gonna get put on the murder list next. I gotta feel bad for them though, but at the same time I don't. Cause instead of getting some game, y'all was just following her around like a bunch of weirdos. It happened on a Friday afternoon. My life was complete from this moment forward. As I gazed into her beautiful brown eyes, I knew that she was the one for me. As she looked back into my shades that I was advised to wear because I didn't have enough game. I know that our bond will last forever. Our love is endless. Nobody will come between us ever, never. Started on a Friday afternoon. It was 5 30, 30, 30. I met up at the soccer retreat. It was after school. We were in front of the pool. All the other boys were looking at her and they couldn't help but to drool. She's so hot. Hey, but then she told me that. She loves me for who I am, the random NPC. You already know me. We're about to go be and make some babies in the freaking back, in the back. Without you in my life, baby, I would lack. Facts. We're gonna live together and go make a bag. Hey, I love you. Hey, bro, that's another rival eliminated. Absolutely good stuff, bro. You know what I mean? Proud of that one, man. We had to work for it, though. I promise you, that was not an easy elimination. She got him still running. Like, he's... Stop chasing her, bro. She's not coming to you. Bro, are you ruining their moments? Bro, hey, stop being desperate. Dog, leave! You're not welcome here! Yeah, hey, come follow me. I'm gonna show you something real cool. It's called the exit to the school. You should know. I didn't kill anybody this time. But I know that beard is killing your confidence. Golly, bro! <laughs> Alright, go ahead and take that walk home, my brother. Your rival's no longer a threat. We've succeeded. Hey, we got an achievement. That's nice. Hey, and the final rival, bro. I've been trying to avoid acknowledging him, but... Oh, shoot. What's his deal? At this point in time, that's just not possible anymore. What did he do? The man in the trench coat. The investigative journalist. The patchy beard. He finally made his move. For What's months move? now, he's been obsessed with investigating Akademi. But the headmaster has always refused him entry into the school. He can enter now? Up until now, that was enough to stop him. But recently, oh, no. he found a loophole. What's that? Apparently, he's oh. had an apprentice for a while now. Oh, She's shoot. a junior detective. And a former student of Akademi. And she's gonna have a crush on Senpai? Back when she was attending school here, she did something extraordinary. What was that? She solved a high-profile murder mystery 
that the police were struggling with. Dang, so Ryoba wasn't even the first to kill here? Well, maybe it was just a general mystery. That accomplishment turned her into a national celebrity almost overnight. That's what's up. There was nothing more for her to gain from remaining enrolled in academy, so... Yeah, get your bag, family. She left without graduating and quickly began a career as a junior detective. That's low-key lit. I'm actually happy for her. And now, one year later, she's back. To finish her education? She claims that she's here to finish her degree. Mm. But I can tell that there's more to the story than that. Yep, it is. Her mentor, that journalist, is firmly determined to investigate Akademi. Clearly. Okay. He must have asked his apprentice to return here to be his eyes and ears. That is low-key a big brain play. The two of them have been interviewing students, and they've learned something. What? Things tend to happen to girls who have a crush on a certain boy at school. Oh no, Senpai looks suspicious? Is he about to get locked My up? Senpai. Oh no. He's become a person of interest to them. Oh, uh, that's not good. And now, that junior detective girl is investigating him. Following him everywhere, talking to him all the time. So, is she tricking him to feeling like she has feelings, or is it more like she actually does? She's been getting a bit too friendly with him. Oh, Lord. Business turned personal. It's oh, enough Lord. to make my blood boil. Oh, but man. As much as I would love to sink a knife into her heart, relax. A violent approach might be a bad decision this time around. Oh, look at the detective back there, bro. She's convinced a bunch of students to patrol the hallways with cameras. Mm. Right now, the slightest mistake could cost me everything. It could. This girl. She's probably the most dangerous enemy I've faced so far. But oh, this. If I could somehow manage to befriend her and put her in debt to me. Yeah? She could be a powerful ally. Powerful ally if I befriended her and put her in debt to me. Wait a minute. Is the canon elimination for her to like lock her in the basement? <laughs> it definitely would have been the right move to put her in the basement, I think, because now it seems like even if she's not going to love Senpai, she's going to think he murdered all those girls. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think she has to go. Look at her, bro, she sounds so professional. Senpai, I need to speak with you. Oh, what can I do for you? Take this meal, put it on your desk. At lunch time, eat it. Uh, sure, but why? I'm testing a theory. What the freak are you doing? Oh my god, look at all these people in these cameras. Wow, bro. Dang, why is she looking at me? What did I do? You do walk pretty awkward, though. Dang, she pushes too? Oh, she's a problem, bro. She's a freaking problem. Good lord, can you stop? It's like dealing with a student council member. Oh, uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. How do you see me through the wall? What? All right, what's your task? Let me talk to you. Oh, what's that? You want to know if I have a task for you? Hmm, interesting. Okay, sure, I'll take the bait. Here's a task for you. Bring me a faculty ID card. Do that, and then... And then what? Do that, and then we'll talk. Faculty ID... Is this some type of setup? Or is she trying to see if, like, they vouch for me or something? Can I turn it on? Are yeah, yeah. Lost? Do you have a reason to be here? Oh. Put that down! Did you think you could get away with stealing? We'll see what the counselor has to say about this. This is awkward. It should be obvious why you're here. I've been informed that you attempted to steal something that didn't belong to you. Can you explain this? Um, my flirtation is maxed out. Let's let me see what it does. I got myself in trouble because I wanted to be sent to your office. Yo. To be honest, <clears throat> I can't stop thinking about you. Wow. I think the two of us could make sweet music together. 
Whoa. Is that your idea of a joke? <laughs> this is no time for humor. Oh my and god. And if you were actually being serious, get those thoughts oh out of your head god. immediately. I thought if by you think my seduction you can get stack. through life acting the way you've behaved today, uh, you are sorely mistaken. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. No! You are hereby dismissed. Well, that's damage into the reputation. All right, I would look through this and the kidnapping method seems pretty interesting. Could kidnap a girl and keep her prisoner inside of my basement. First, I would need to raise my biology stat until I learn how to inject a syringe in order to knock someone out. Then I would need to obtain a sedative. I could purchase a sedative from the convenience store in town, alternatively. There is a sedative inside of the cabinet in the nurse's office, but I would need a lockpick in order to open it. If I can find a hairpin from the drama club and a paperclip from the teacher's faculty room, I can use them to craft a lockpick at the workbench in the workshop room. After I have biology knowledge and a sedative, I would need to obtain a syringe from the school infirmary. Then I would have to befriend my target by doing a task for them. Once the task is complete, I could ask the girl to follow me. Then I could lead her to the musical instrument. Instru Ooh. Then I could lead her to the musical instrument case in the gym, close the door and knock her out and put her in a case. After that is done, I will return to the school at night and retrieve the case and bring the girl back to my house. That might be how we have to get this done, bro. We gotta make her shut up. No, just just pick up all the chemicals. Pick up everything. See, if y'all didn't know, I'm a scientist. Make someone sleepy, right? So what if we put acetone with this? That could make a sedative, yeah, yeah. Mmm. What if I made her walk out? <laughs> Yes, yes. Come check this way. Go check, go check, go check. And... Give me that. Pocket that. Yes, sir. Can you follow me? Oh, lead the way. She's actually following me. Wow, that's not really a smart detective move. Hey, reading that manga and getting my stats up was worth it. I promise you. Facts. Where's that case at? Oh, this. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now we close the door and kidnapping checklist. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What the? What? Bruh. Expelled is crazy. I'm so, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. All right. Got her. <laughs> Bro, I had to position my freaking hands on the keyboard properly, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, dump her in there. Woo. And we come back at night and scoop her up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and get your <laughs> diabolical laughs out. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. And now we act like nothing happened. Oh, yo, I was just in there playing my musical instrument, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Isn't the air outside amazing today? I, I just love sports, right? Gotta get in nature, bro. You know what I mean? Gazer, gazer. Nature uh, in the building, man. Simple, you, you know? All right, I'm um, back on the class. <laughs> So we lit it. Oh my gosh, we did it! Ryoma waits until midnight, sneaks into the school, returns to the musical instrument case that contains the unconscious victim. She pushes the case back to her house and ties the victim in a chair in her basement. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my gosh, dude. And we basically just beat the game. That is crazy! That is crazy! <laughs> Ah oh, man, oh, I feel like I just graduated school, bro. Like we really, we did that. I wish we could play like running into the school and like collecting it. That's something like I feel like they should add because I was low key expecting to, you know, that to happen. And that's part of why I did that elimination. I thought it would look cool. Hey yo, how you doing down here? How you doing? I'm about to torture you. I'm about to freaking torture. What are you doing? You thought you could come over here Don't and foil my plans? Stay away! <laughs> Nope, right back to torture. Forget school. Nope. Mm -mm, I'm gonna call in sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and lower the rest of that sanity. Many unbearable hours later. 
All right, and we're just gonna chill out and read a manga. You know what I mean? Should I even feed her? I don't think I will. But y'all, like, for real though, that was about the only way that I could get her out the way. Everything else is too, it's too like, you know, we'll get caught. And I I know for a fact, I'm not gonna let Senpai go to prison, bro. Hey, are you hungry down there? Cause I don't care. I'm trying to freaking treat Senpai like a suspect. Freak is wrong with you. Hey, yo, have you seen your friend? When's the last time you saw her? <laughs> I do apologize that I couldn't get the task done, though. I just couldn't figure it out. I mean, maybe if anyone has any advice, you know, in next Yandori Simulator video, whatever it is, I might just throw in me doing the task for her. But yeah, I genuinely did not know how to get to that faculty room. Like, they had it locked down, bro. And this is the end. Saturday, man. No more rivals. No. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. The past 11 weeks have challenged me in every way possible. For sure, bro. <laughs> despite everything, I've still managed to defeat every one of my adversaries. You know what I mean, bro? That's how we do it. S tier Yandere. These experiences have made me stronger, braver. Yep. I think. I finally found the courage to talk to him. Oh yeah, after offing almost 10 people, To okay. tell him how I feel. When I confess <laughs> my feelings to him, it has to be special. It has to be perfect. I okay. don't believe in the myth about the cherry tree behind the school. You've seen it work for old girl, though. But I can't think of any place more appropriate for my confession. Do what you gotta do, girl. Today. I'm going to tell him today. Okay. Senpai, please accept my feelings. Or die. <laughs> Those are the only two options. So what, do we get to watch a cutscene of this happening? Oh, we get to actually play it? Whoa! We get to play it? Nah, that's crazy. Oh, it's, a, it's like animated. It's happening. It's really happening. <gasps> Today is the day. The day I finally tell him how I feel. Did, did I just get a good ending? It's taken so long. But now I'm ready. I'm ready to... Stop right there, Ryoba Aishi. Dog. What? It's you. You were Dog. under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Sumire Satozaki 11 weeks ago. Oh! And your connection to at least one other person's disappearance. Oh! Wait, please! There must be some mistake. I had nothing to do with... Oh, no. You're not going to sweet-talk your way out of this one. You're your such... innocent schoolgirl act won't save you this time. Where is your evidence? What evidence do you even have? Where is I've it? I've been questioning your classmates over the past couple of months. They've noticed a pattern in your behavior. What? That boy over there. The one under the tree. You've shown a keen interest in any girl who developed feelings for him. Okay. And some of those girls have gone missing. <laughs> How convenient for you. This is such a What's setup. happening here is obvious. You're eliminating any girl who tries to take that boy away from you. And Sumire was your first victim. Crazy. No, this is crazy. I have never hurt anyone. I swear. I'm innocent. You have to believe me. He got you. Save it for the judge. Cuff her, boys. Wow, bro. I know her heart dropped on this part. I know her heart dropped here, bro. Is it, Are we just done? Wow. At least we're not in a jail suit. We know we haven't been to jail yet. <laughs> okay. That man, he looked- On April 1st, oh, no. Yoba Aishi put a note into the locker of Sumire Saitozaki. Really? After reading this note, Sumire went to the East Third Floor Girls Restroom. Oh, okay. That was the last time anyone ever saw Sumire. This is canon. After she was reported missing, police investigated Akademi for clues. In the East Third Floor Girls Restroom, they found some of Sumire's blood. Shortly before Sumire went missing, Ryoba Aishi <laughs> was spotted carrying a knife. <laughs> oh, no. And walking in the direction of the East Third Floor Girls Restroom. Really? So that was her sloppiest elimination. That was before it, I even started playing. Later, she was seen carrying a large garbage bag towards the school incinerator. Ah, uh, Well, dude. this information came from Ui Tunisu, a student at Akademi. Freaking snitch! 
who was interviewed by the police the day after Sumi Rei's disappearance. It's obvious what happened to Sumi Rei. This is why. Ryoba Aishi killed her in the bathroom with a knife, stuffed her in a garbage bag, and carried her to the incinerator, where she burned all of the evidence. Yeah, he's he's got the play-by-play -play going right now. Do you deny any of this, Ryoba Aishi? I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I did not kill Sumire Saitozaki. It's true that I put a note in her locker and spoke with her in the bathroom, but I simply wanted to discuss a personal matter with her. Nothing more. Okay. What about the knife? I noticed that one of the knives in the home economics room was missing. It turned out that someone had brought the knife to the cooking club by mistake. Mm. So, I simply took it from the cooking club and put it back in its rightful place. She looks oddly calm right here. And and what are those? Like like phantom shadow ghosts? Are we are demons? Like what's happening? And the garbage bag. How do you explain that? I love my school. I can't stand to see trash and garbage piling up everywhere. Decent save. I do my part to keep the school clean. Just like everyone else does. <laughs> you always have a convenient explanation for everything. Don't you? This is the first time you asked me anything! Do you really think anyone in this courtroom is going to believe your obvious lies? Do you really think anyone's going to take you serious with that beard? <sighs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, they chatting. No, they chatting. Oh, my God. They are cool. Mr. Journalist, there are a number of problems with your theory. Like what? First of all, you're accusing me of murder. But Talk to me. you don't actually have any proof that Sumire is dead. Mm. She is still considered missing, after all. I think she simply ran away because of the stress of studying at an elite school. Oh my god, Ryoba is wild. I pray that she is alive and well. You pray. And will return to us one day. I ain't gonna lie, you deserve to be locked up. The only reason I'm on your side is because I was playing the game, bro. To be honest. In any other scenario, I would want you to lose. You think I killed Sumire because of three facts. Yes. I spoke to her, I held a knife, and I burned some trash. However, none of these things are grounds for suspicion. Every mm. day at school, dozens of students talk to each other, mm. touch objects that could be used as weapons, mm. and carry garbage bags to the incinerator. This is true. There was nothing unusual or suspicious about my behavior. You know, wow. I think I finally figured out what's going on here, Mr. Journalist. Are you about to flip the script? Your apprentice, Sonoko Sakanoe, became a celebrity after she stopped a killer. Okay. You're desperate to pin a crime on me because you want to be a celebrity too. Oh. That is a nasty, that is nasty that she did that like that. The wow. The only reason that any of us are in this courtroom today is because... Of what? You're deeply insecure that your apprentice has accomplished more than you. There's no way. There's no way, bro. What? I see some comments saying like, hey, bro. By the end of this series, you're going to look at Ryoba in a totally different light. She's, she's a monster, bro. This is canon. Duh, bro. She got the room chatting. She got the jury chatting. Her voice cracked. Order. Order in the court. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. It's true that there is no smoking gun evidence linking you directly to a murder. Yeah, he came here on a prayer. However, with that said, over the past 11 weeks, you have demonstrated behavior that is suspicious, if not outright incriminating. Okay. Your classmates have testified that you've been stalking a certain boy at school. Yeah, yo, but it's not a good look to stalk, it's not. Following him when he goes shopping, mm. following him when he walks home. Yes. By all accounts, you're absolutely obsessed with this boy. Yes. Furthermore, every time a girl begins to show signs of interest in him, Something always happens that removes the girl from his life. Mm. You can't possibly expect anyone to believe that these facts are mere coincidence. Mm. Clearly, you are sabotaging the boy's love life in order to keep him single. Mm. And who else had a crush on that boy? That's right. 
Sumire Saitozaki. You've been oh. eliminating every girl who comes between you and that boy. Oh my god. Sumire was your first victim. <laughs> this is Wow, this is crazy. How many endings are there to this game? Order. I said order. Oh my god, they chatting. Enough conjecture. Let's go over the facts. What the freak? This is like a all grown up mature to Aaron, bro. Guilty or innocent? Okay, Kagi uh, made friends with Ryoba, yeah? She testified in court that Ryoba is a good person and would never commit a murder. She was burned to death. Uh, her death is considered to be an accident. She was crushed to death. Yeah, that's considered to be an accident. Okay, poisoned to death, oh God. Uh, accident. Okay, she was kidnapped, oh wow. As far as anyone knows, she's just mysteriously vanished one day. Oh, this isn't good. It looks like the guilty is raised a little bit. She offed herself. Oh no. Suspect that her uh, death was a murder. She was arrested by the police. Is currently in jail. Involved in a uh, not life. Oh, that's tough. No, the police have no. Res uh, the, police, the police have no reason to suspect Ryoba's involvement. Okay. She entered a relationship with someone other than Senpai. She is currently in a happy relationship with a boy. She was kidnapped. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. After Sibiri's disappearance, the police were called to Academia a total of one times. The police discovered a total of two corpses at Academia. Ryoba made 10 friends at Academia. Wait, what? Ryoba's reputation at Academia is 100. Wait, so does, does that mean I'm more innocent? Ryoba's classmates witnessed her doing something suspicious four times? Ryoba's classmates witnessed her carrying a dangerous weapon around zero times? Okay. Uh, walking around bloodstained clothing, never, never witnessed uh, her commit a murder. Taking all so of I'm the innocent. facts into consideration, it is clear beyond any shadow of a doubt that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. Hey! <laughs> Free Ryoba! Free Ryoba! Free Ryoba! Free me! <laughs> Free my dog, bro! Let's go! Let's go! I did that! Hey! Look at that little devious smile! It's Tyr Yandere! That's what I'm talking about! Everyone loves you and nobody has any reason to suspect that she might be a killer! You are a true Yandere! I do this! Facts! A they murderous was, small girl who kills in the name of love. Oh my god. It was a novel concept. No, man, cause dude, like, I'm wondering what all endings there are now. Newspapers realized it would get sales. TV stations realized it would boost ratings. It yeah. didn't take long for the news of my murder trial to spread across the entire nation. Crazy. I've never seen an event get that much coverage before. It well, was you, a real media circus. You did a lot. And now, everyone in the country knows my name and face. Kind of scary. Even worse, they all know how I feel about my senpai. Tough. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. I didn't want him to learn about me like this. Yeah, it's not a good look. I wanted our first meeting to be special. Perfect. Exactly like in my dreams. Oh, this is rough, dude. But now, that can never happen. Is he still interested, though? He'll never be able to see me as a cute underclassman who has a crush on him. He'll only be able to see me as that girl who was accused of murder ah. on national TV. Maybe this is a bad ending. If I confess my love to him now, I doubt he'll want anything to do with me even though i was declared innocent there will always be doubts in his mind that stupid journalist ruined absolutely everything oh this blows there's nothing i want more than to rip his heart out and shove it down his throat oh no but spilling any blood right now would only attract more attention. There are too many eyes on me right now. Uh. I have to lay low for a while. Revenge isn't an option at this point in time. 
But I'll never forget what that man did. There's I won't no be way. able to have a romantic confession underneath a cherry tree. Yo, she is she is monologuing right now. She's really chatting. But this isn't over yet. I still have one option remaining. My last resort. What's that? What's that? You was making it sound like there was no hope at first. It's unfortunate that things turned out like this. But I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. So, I had to take away the option. Our relationship might be awkward for a little while, but we'll get through it together. After all, I know all of his likes and dislikes. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warm up to me soon. Ah, <sighs> There's a part of me that wonders... What was the point of all the hard work I just did if I was just going to kidnap him in the end? But, despite the way things turned out, I don't think the past eleven weeks were a waste at all. I learned so many new things and gained so many new skills. I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to put all of my knowledge and talents to good use. And, one day... I can pass down everything I know to my son or daughter. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's still so much to look forward to. Oh, no. That, that's probably the worst ending. Like Bro, don't tree. play this happy music now. I just got the most bogus ending in the game. She deserved to be locked up. And, and, and now he's kidnapped? There is no one else but you. Oh my god, man, what? They wanna take away our happy ending. Suffocate our happy W music, but like, I have to see the other endings at this point. That is unacceptable. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I got a very bogus ending. Um, <laughs> but it's all right, you know. Uh, let me know if you want to see me react to any of the other endings on this game. I'm gonna hold out, I'm not gonna watch them just yet. Just in case I need to make another video on it. If I know y'all, y'all probably will want to see it. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments. Like this video and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Yandere Simulator at some point soon. But that's been 1980s mode. So hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's been a joy to play through this series. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. And I will catch y'all later. Peace.